moving to Sierra Leone now, where the government has started burying the hundreds of people killed earlier this week in mudslides. Emergency services are also evacuating residents from parts of Freetown, warning that more mudslides are expected. About 600 people remain unaccounted for, but unstable terrain and ongoing rain is making recovery efforts difficult. Aid organizations are worried about the spread of disease as bodies trapped in the mud start to decompose. Thousands of people are displaced in low-lying areas of Freetown and the surrounding communities. The government is pleading for international assistance. They had their hopes and aspirations for a bright future like the six innocent children who went to study in the home of one of their brightest colleagues. Like the young man who was due to get married tomorrow. Like the husband who had worked so hard to get his family a new home and has just moved them to this new home. These heartbreaking accounts and many more are as painful as they can get and have badly shaken our beloved nation. Right now, for more on this story, we can now go live to CGTN's Deji Badmas, who is joining us now live from Freetown, the capital of Sierra Leone. Deji, uh, what is the latest you can tell us about how the rescue effort is going? Well, the rescue operation has just resumed. As a matter of fact, it is seeming more like a recovery operation than a rescue because um, yesterday two dead bodies were brought out from the site uh, behind me here. And, uh, well, the operation has started, but it, it doesn't look like, um, well, there, there's going to be any uh, discovery of uh, people alive. So we're just waiting to see what happens. But uh, the soldiers are back. The heavy-duty equipment have actually moved to uh, the epicenter of uh, the mod slide, and um, the operation is underway. Rama, um, sorry, Mahia. Well, Deji, you did, of course, visit the affected areas. What can you tell us about the level of destruction after the mudslides? Well, to be candid, the, the scale of destruction is massive. Uh, as the president of this country said, a whole community has been wiped out. There were several houses at uh, the foot of the mountain where this happened, just behind me here. All the houses gone, and uh, as we've been told, about 600 persons are still unaccounted for. The fear is that the majority of those people that are unaccounted for might be uh, beneath the mud. So we, we just have to wait and see, uh, you know, how many bodies are brought out at the end of uh, this whole operation. But the scale of destruction here is very massive. Entire community wiped out. It's really going to take a lot of time to rebuild this community, if at all the government will allow any rebuilding to take place around this area, because to be candid, very dangerous. And then you look at houses around here, you see some places that you just have the feeling, well, these are dangers waiting to happen. Uh, but um, honestly, the scale of destruction here is massive, and the death toll too massive, and we still do not have a final count. All right, Deji, thank you very much for that. CGTN's Deji Badmas joining us live there from Freetown in Sierra Leone.